Hey. Hiya. What's your name? Bjarne. When did you graduate? I graduated in 2021. Why did you choose the GSA? Um, so I actually started doing classes with the Gaiety when I was 14. I started doing youth classes with them. So I guess doing the full time course was sort of a natural progression. Uh, like I kind of knew a lot about what the course was was going to be about and I'd interacted with a load of the tutors and stuff and I just loved the vibe of the place. I just kind of knew it was for me. So yeah. <laughs> you went for it. Would you recommend your course for budding actors? Absolutely I would. And I have already, you know, anytime I've had this conversation with people of, I want to get into acting, well, what do you think I should do? You know, I always encourage people to do their own research and find out kind of what they want and find out what they're looking to get. and. I always say that the Gaiety is a great option and I would totally recommend if you can and if you're thinking about it to go and do the open day, go be in the school, go see if you like the vibe and treat the audition process as a sort of two-way street. You know, they are auditioning you, but you're auditioning them also. Um, but at the end of the day, it's kind of, you know, what you put into the course is also what you get out of it. So honestly, it, it could be the best course for you, it could be not for you at all, and either way that's okay, but I'd certainly recommend it. If you had to pick a standout moment from your time studying with the Gaiety School of Acting, what would it be? Um, this is a bit of a cop-out, but it's, it's so difficult to do that. Because, not that it's difficult for me to do that, it's difficult for me to explain what the standout moments are, because they're so specific to my year. Like, it's, it, you had to be there. It's the kind of like, you had to be there. And even sometimes when I meet up with the guys and we're like chatting and reminiscing uh, and we're trying to like recreate like the feeling of a certain like funny or hilarious or heartwarming moment that happened, we can't do it. So, you know, if, I, if I'm here and I'm telling you uh, some, some, some inside joke I'm trying to explain, it, it's just not gonna happen. But, um, <laughs> I guess like on a personal level or on a career level, I think a standout moment for me really would have been, there were sort of three manifestos that I did that um, were like, like, like unexpectedly well received. And it, for the first time I thought to myself, oh wow, this is something I can do. This is something I can actually maybe be half decent at. Um, which I'd never had that feeling before so yeah it was really cool to I guess have that sort of boost yeah <laughs> <laughs> and are you working on anything at the moment um, so in terms of like other people's things and like acting wise uh, I'm going to be doing the Shakespeare in schools with the Gaiety of um, well their version of the Scottish play I'm not gonna say the actual <laughs> word can't do that <laughs> but, um, so that's going to start in September. Well, rehearsals for it will anyway, and then we'll do it for secondary school students, which I think is very exciting. Um, on a personal level, I'm just kind of writing away. I have a play that I started writing about a year ago, actually. Um, and that's kind of like coming together um, all the time. So that's sort of what I'm, what I'm always working away on, but also, you know, just like, throwing a lot of things out there and hoping that one of them sticks. So just trying to stay active. <laughs> cool. And if you had to pick a dream role, what would that be? Just just one. Yep. Um, I have to I, uh, Maggie the Cat from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof by nice. Tennessee Williams, <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, what was your favorite piece that you worked on while at GSA? Again, just so hard to pick. <laughs> um, um, Ronan and I did a piece from one of my favorite plays of all time called Venus and Fur by David Ives. Um, it's hard to explain what it's about. It's about a lot, but there's a particular scene in it um, where things just kind of go a bit crazy. And we did that scene and it was absolutely mental and so much fun. And honestly, just like I, if I could do it again, I would. <laughs> nice. What is one thing that you would advise a current student to have in their locker at all times? A change of clothes. <laughs> a change of clothes. And, and that's because 
when you're in, in, in any acting school, there's like a very, there's no uniform, but there's a specific dress code. It's like all black and then it has to be comfortable to move around in. So you're wearing basically black tracksuit bottoms or black leggings and then a black t-shirt or a black jumper, like all of the time. And that's sort of what you live in. And then there have been times where like, if I've been finished, I'm like, oh, I wish I had a dress to put on or I wish I had a nice shirt to put on just to kind of signify that I'm like finished with college and now I'm out into the real world. So I would say even like a nice top for if you go out with your with your friends, you know, after classes. Um, other than that, deodorant, deodorant. Yes. <laughs> what would you to say to someone who is on the fence about pursuing acting? I think I would say to them, try to figure out why you're on the fence. And if the pressure is external, like it's coming from your parents or your family or your friends or the, the wider society around you, I would say ignore them. Just ignore them. Do what makes you happy. If it's internal and it's a kind of internal battle of, I'm not sure if this is what I want, I'd say give it some time. Think about it a little bit more before you commit yourself to it because it's not an easy career and it's something that you have to have a lot of faith in yourself about and just have a lot of drive to keep going. So I wouldn't subject yourself to it unless you're 110% in it. Well, thank you so much, Bianca, for chatting to us today. Thank you. <laughs> and enjoy the rest of your day. You too. <laughs> and good luck with Shakespeare. Thank you.